Hello and welcome to Chrome Computing. Today we will be looking at how much storage you need if you're going to be buying a Chromebook. It all obviously depends on what you want to use your Chromebook for. If you're buying a Chromebook just to surf the internet and do some word processing and maybe using some spreadsheets, then you don't actually need much storage space. If you can find a Chromebook with 16 gigabyte of storage, which you'd find quite a struggle nowadays, but you may do, and if it's a really good price, and all you do, all you want to do is surf the internet and do the occasional web processing, then I'd definitely go for it if the price is right. You don't really need much else. Things tend to change though, if you then want to start using Android apps. And Android apps you can use on budget Chromebooks, mid-range Chromebooks, and high-spec Chromebooks as well. And that's what where, where it will change. So if you are looking to install Android apps, because they are stored locally on your hard disk, they take up your storage space. So the minimum space you'd really want is 32 gigabyte. And if you was buying a budget Chromebook, the space you'd normally get storage space is, you can get 16, most of them are 32. You might even find some with 64 gigabyte, but most of them would be in the 32 gigabyte range. Now 32 gigabyte of storage sounds like a lot but it isn't that much when you consider that some android apps can take up a lot of space so it, it you, you need to bear that in mind as well if you want to install a lot of android apps then you really want to be looking at um, maybe 64 gigabyte at a minimum 128 gigabyte is more ideal but if you, if you if we're not talking lots and lots of apps but more than just a few then you'll find that 64 gigabyte of storage will be absolutely fine. And that's the sort of storage space you would find in a mid-range Chromebook. So you'd be paying a bit more than what you would for a budget Chromebook, but it would mean that you could install a lot more Android apps. Now, if you go in high spec or higher priced mid-range, then you'd be looking at more of the 128 gigabyte of storage. With that amount of storage, you could obviously install a lot more Android apps and you shouldn't have any problems at all with having extra storage space left over. The thing you need to bear in mind is that the Chromebook doesn't allow you to install Android apps anywhere else at the moment, apart from your local storage. You can store data from apps onto your SD card, so that's fine. But the actual Android app itself it is using your local storage. So that is the main key factor here. And also, if you're looking at Linux apps, they're exactly the same as Android apps, sorry. Uh, they will take up your local storage space. But most people, although you do get people who use Linux apps, most people, it's Android apps that they're more concerned about. So what I would say is if you are buying a budget Chromebook and a 32 gigabyte of storage is all you get with that Chromebook, that's fine. The best thing to do to make sure you keep it, your storage space for Android is to only install Android apps locally. Try and get into the habit of storing all of your other files in the cloud. So if you're looking at using the word processor that comes with Google's own word processor and your own spreadsheet program, it's really easy to store in the cloud because it's naturally done that way because you access them programs by going into the cloud, so it's not so bad. Where you will tend to see where you're, you're wasting your storage is if you have a look in your downloads folder and you will see lots of files that you've downloaded and you don't actually need. So if you are going for a Chromebook and that you've only got 32 gigabyte of storage, um, try and make sure you keep that downloads folder empty as well, and that'll be fine. Um, so in summary, what I would say, if, if, if you are buying a budget Chromebook, then obviously 32 gigabyte, if you're using Android apps, is a, is a must, really. If you're not using Android apps, then 16 gigabyte if you, if you if you're buying it for you know complete value for money then 16 gigabyte of storage isn't going to be a problem whatsoever because most of your files you'll store in the cloud you only need to consider the 32 gigabyte if you're going for android apps and as i says that isn't lots of storage space for android apps so if you really want to install quite a few i would definitely say it's 64 gigabyte is really what you should be looking for ideally if, if you don't want to be restricted with how many android apps you can install and if you're going for a higher spec chromebook you'd expect it to come with at least 128 gigabyte of storage anyway 
um, and then with that you won't have any problems installing quite a few Android apps and Linux apps as well. So I hope that explains how much storage you would need for a Chromebook in 2020. Um, there's plenty of choices to choose from now when you're looking at Chromebooks in the budget range and the mid-range section uh, sector. Um, sorry, uh, and there's some great deals out there as well. So you've always got to, although it's important to have a lot of storage, I would never say, okay, so if, if, you, if you've got your eye on two Chromebooks and the one's $100 more than the other one, and the only reason you're considering that is because it's got 32 gigabyte of extra storage. You know, you've really got to weigh up what's more important to you. If it's really good value for money, and the specs of everything else are pretty much the same, maybe just go for the lowest lower storage Chromebook. Yeah, you just need to make sure you manage your files, and that means ensuring all of them files in your downloads folder are they needed, and do you use all of the Android apps that you've installed? Because you tend to find when you install Android apps, you then leave them, and there's a lot of them you don't use. So you, you can manage with 32 gigabyte absolutely fine. It's just about managing your storage and your Android apps a lot more. Okay, so I hope the video has helped. If it did, please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And thanks for watching.